Hello and welcome to this demo of WP Exporter. So if you don't know what WP Exporter is, it's a plugin for Adobe InDesign that will let you export your InDesign articles to a WordPress website. Let's say you have one or many WordPress websites and use InDesign to make your posts. So this plugin is definitely for you. It will save you plenty of time and will make your job much easier. What I'm basically doing here is just making a few frames. There's some text frames and images. I'm gonna write down the main title here and then subtitles. So this is the first subtitle and then another one then I'm just pasting some long text texts so if you want a description or a long paragraph in there you can make it that way and then Captions for my images. And finally, a quote. Then I'm just pasting my images. and just fitting them into the content. Then what you want to do is to assign the tags to their respective frames. If you don't know anything about tags, then you should make sure you read a little bit about them. They're extremely useful and very easy to make. You'll find the link below that explains tags in just a few minutes. Once I'm done assigning tags, I'm going to group images with their respective captions. There's the first one. And the second one done. Now we want to head over to your article tab. We're just going to define our article. I named it article one here and then just dragging and dropping all the frames into the article. You want to make sure you keep your order in here so that you keep you can keep the same overlay in your post. And once you're done with this configuration, you want to head over to your WP exporter plugin should have already added an admin user for your WordPress website or multiple websites. If you don't know how to do that, there's a link below for another video that showcases how to do that. So now you just want to configure your article. You can choose the featured image, whether it's published or a draft, and then define your WordPress tags either global or for one article. Just make sure you have selected user defined. Oops, uh, you should save your articles before exporting them. So now that you've exported your article, you want to head over to your website, just refresh and you will find your post. So as you can see, we kept our overlay. There's the main title and then subtitles, images with their captions and the quote.